Now, don't blame that little lump on your computer cable for getting stuck somewhere for the umpteenth time. This cylinder, shapes and colors may vary, actually prevents interference from other signals, like those your phone emits. A lack of privacy in public bathrooms, I mean those large gaps beneath where normal doors tend to be, is there for a reason. This way, people do their business faster and there are fewer lines. Also, if something goes wrong, it's easy to find a person who needs help. In London, there are some poles that kind of look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes, and they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would vent away the air and explosive gases with bad smells to prevent, shall we say, unwanted consequences. Blank pages in the books aren't actually for the author's signature. It's all about the manufacturing process. Books are printed on large sheets, so one sheet can fit in four pages. If a book has an odd quantity of printed pages, chances are you'll get a blank one for notes. Now, originally, golf balls were smooth. But some time ago, players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, they started producing balls with dimples. Windshield black dots help disperse the sun glaring right into your eyes. This sort of frame keeps the UV rays away, so it serves as sunglasses for your car. The tab on the rearview mirror has obvious functions. It holds your air freshener, that cute toy. But in reality, it was meant to be a tumbler between day and night mode. It reduces the glare from the car behind you, so you can't be blinded. Colored dots on chip bags aren't as useful as those on the windshield, but they have a purpose too. Manufacturers need them to control the package color and show what ink color was used on the package. Eh, no big deal. Your microwave has a silent mode. Seriously. If those beeps drive you nuts, press 1 or 0 and hold. It might work. Also, there is sometimes a silent button you kept ignoring all this time. Anyway, there are no two identical microwaves, so a manual should come in handy. Grocery cart loops have more functions than you think. You don't want to put your fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and coke. This little hook-like thingy helps organize all the stuff in your cart better, so you can enjoy your shopping trip. Another thingy we often neglect is a point on an ointment cap. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color, you can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Toothpicks come in different varieties, and one of them is a bit puzzling. Sometimes they have several grooves. The first one is weak, so it's easy to break the toothpick in two. The smaller section with one more groove can be used as a stand to avoid the contact with the table. You can make a makeshift stand for disposable chopsticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. So next time you have a sushi dinner, try breaking off that lump instead of regular splitting. When you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Here's one more hidden function. You can slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer, too. All the bottles used to be of the same green color once. But later it was discovered that brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. Stickers on fruit seem to provide zero information about the product. But if you look closer, you'll find some numbers that can tell you more. A five-digit number where the first number is 9 is a good sign. You're about to buy an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a 3 or 4 means it was conventionally farmed. And if the number starts with an 8 and there are five digits, well, it's best to leave it on the shelf. A dollar has its secrets, too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. 
there are 12 banks distributing currency. For example, the L says it was printed in San Francisco. Now, some cups look like they're chipped on the bottom, but they're produced this way. In fact, these dimples are supposed to keep the cup in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. Small hollows in a chocolate box are designed for chocolate lovers. Press the closest deepening to the chocolate that you want to grab, and it'll jump out of the box right into your hand. Bath foam can be more than just a pleasant smell. It also has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles save water heat, so you can enjoy your bath a little longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat fast, no matter how much foam you make. A good doorknob is one that's made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. Nope, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. A drawer under the oven. It's simple. You need it to store all those pots and pans. Hmm, maybe. But it wasn't this drawer's original purpose. You can use this place to keep your food warm while something else is being prepared in the oven. Wooden hangers. They might look more stylish and sturdy than metal or plastic ones, but it's not all about looks. The very first wooden hangers were made from cedar, which is an effective natural insect repellent. The smell scared off moths and saved clothes. Fabric patches. Some pieces of clothing come with a small patch of fabric with a button on it. While it's quite obvious how to use the button, the fabric's purpose isn't so apparent. Is it to patch holes? Then why is it so small? Well, you're supposed to test your cleaning products on it. Then, if something goes wrong, you won't ruin the whole garment. Diamond slits on backpacks These diamonds were originally placed only on traveler backpacks and were designed to carry ropes. Now you can find such slits on pretty much every backpack. Why not use them to carry a bottle of water, an umbrella, or a pair of sneakers? A hole in the elevator door This seemingly random diamond-sized hole is actually a keyhole. If the elevator doors get stuck, an operator can open them manually by inserting a special key in this hole. The same tool is used when an elevator needs routine maintenance. A dent in the milk container Some plastic milk containers have dents in their sides that can serve several purposes. For one, if milk spoils, this process can cause swelling and high-pressure buildup inside the container. That's when the dent comes in handy. It pops out and doesn't let the jug blow up. Plus, if you decide to freeze the milk, it'll expand like any other liquid. And then, the indentation will pop out and prevent the container from bursting inside the freezer. Removable headrests Even though it wasn't its original role, a removable headrest can turn into a crucial survival tool. Being trapped in a car, you can use the headrest's metal prods to break the window and get out. Applesauce lids Ever been stranded with a pack of applesauce but no spoon in hand? Huh, if I had a nickel! Then you probably don't know that each snack pack already has a built-in spoon. Several twists of foil lid and… ah, there you go! Bread tags Colorful plastic tags on bags of bread indicate when the loaf was baked. The color code is the following. Monday, a blue tag. Tuesday, green. Thursday, red. Friday, white. And on Saturday, you can buy fresh bread with a yellow tag. Apparently, they don't bake bread on Wednesday. That's so they can loaf around. Grooves on keyboards Palpable lines on the F and J keys help those who type without looking at the keyboard to position their hands correctly. You place your right and left index fingers on the grooves and immediately understand where your other fingers should go. None of which should be up your nose. Rings in zippers Ever paid attention to those outer rings and zipper sliders? 
especially when two sliders are used together? These rings are added so that you can connect the sliders with a lock and keep sticky fingers away. Chinese takeaway boxes A first-timer might think that Chinese takeaway boxes have a peculiar shape. Most experienced diners know that by unfolding the sides of these containers, you get a paper plate with the food already sitting on top. Tri-color toothpaste Lots of toothpastes have blue, red, and white stripes. Such coloring isn't mere aesthetics, all the stripes have their own ingredients and purposes. The blue one contains antimicrobial elements and has a breath-freshening effect. The red one includes some ingredients crucial for healthy gums. And the white, most valuable stripe, removes plaque and whitens the teeth. Little studs on jeans. Hey, that was my gang in middle school. You know, the first jeans had one problem. Workers and miners, who were the original jeans wearers, put so much stress on their denim pants that it seems couldn't withstand the pressure and tore. Tiny metal studs were invented to prevent this from happening. Utility knife This instrument is supposed to last way longer than most people think. Take a good look at the knife's blade, and you'll notice that it's made of narrow, parallel sections. When your knife gets blunt, break off the top section with the cap you find at the bottom. Voila! You have a brand new sharp blade again. Just don't forget to put some safety gloves and goggles on first. A slot near the iPhone camera Not every iPhone owner pays attention to an almost unnoticeable little hole between the camera and the flash. It's the gadget's second microphone. Its role is to block outside noises when you're filming a video. This microphone also makes the sound clearer. Use it when you're on the phone in a noisy place. Ketchup cups If you ever use those flimsy ribbed ketchup containers they have at fast food restaurants, you probably wondered why they don't make them a bit bigger. What most people don't know, though, is that those ribs should be pulled outward. Thanks to this trick, the container can house way more sauce. Dental floss This dental hygiene must-have can slip out of your fingers and tangle. To avoid such problems, tear off a piece of floss and tie its two ends together. It'll be much easier to use and won't hurt your hands. Shirt loops If you don't have a hanger nearby, inspect your shirt for a small loop on the back. If there is one, you can use it to hang your shirt on a locker peg and it won't crease. The open jar symbol on cosmetics packaging Ladies, have you ever searched high and low for an expiration date on your makeup, all to no avail? In the future, just look for this little open jar icon. It's called the PAO, period after opening, and it tells you how long you can safely use the product after opening it. The jar is usually accompanied by a number with the letter M, which stands for months, and it can be seen on almost all cosmetics products. Just make sure you remember exactly when you open the package, so you'll know when 3, 6, 9, or however many months indicated have passed. Really? Makeup goes bad after 3 months? Or maybe they just want you to buy some more, you think? The Statue of Liberty's Crown I'm sure you're familiar with Lady Liberty, whether you've seen her in person or in a picture. But have you ever noticed how many spikes are in her crown? And do you know what they represent? Well, there are seven of them, and they represent the seven seas and seven continents of the world, showing that freedom and liberty are universal concepts that should be shared across the world. And that crown of hers is a pretty heavy weight to bear. Each spike weighs 150 pounds. The crown also has 25 windows, showing a great view. I know, I've been up there myself. Now, here's another cool fact. She was originally the color of pennies because she's made entirely of the same material, copper. Over time, the copper oxidized, and she turned that bluish-green patina color that we know her today. Can you imagine a reddish-brown colored Statue of Liberty? Weird. Blank pages in books. 
Now, you probably noticed that many books have a few blank pages at the beginning and or end. But you know why? Book pages are often printed on large sheets of paper rather than on small individual ones. And if there isn't enough content to fill these sheets, there will be blank pages. Publishers often print the word notes or leave some other sign on them so readers don't think it's a printing mistake. Colorful toothpaste Huh. Have you ever wondered why classic toothpaste is striped red, white, and blue? It's because it's French, right? Nah. It turns out that each stripe has different ingredients and purposes. Fluoride, the white part, is the most important ingredient in toothpaste. It helps whiten your teeth and remove plaque. The blue or green gel has antimicrobial and breath-freshening effects. The red part was added later. It contains crucial elements for healthy gums. In fact, keeping the colors in separate stripes isn't really necessary, it's just a clever marketing strategy. Bitter Nintendo Switch Cartridges So, is your first thought when playing video game consoles to eat the cartridges? <laughs> well, apparently, that's what the manufacturers of the cartridges for the Nintendo Switch thought when they decided to coat them with a bitter-tasting non-toxic solution. All jokes aside, it was actually a pretty smart move in case kids try to put the tiny cartridges in their mouth and possibly choke. Now, who would do that? Yeah, my kids. The bitter taste is meant to make children spit out the cartridge in disgust. Numbers on Heinz Packets You've probably never noticed the little numbers in the upper right corner of Heinz packets, since, if you're like me, you rip them open as soon as you get your fries. You probably didn't even notice that the same product can have different numbers. Well, the online community demanded to know what they mean, because they have too much time on their hands. So Heinz replied on their official Twitter page. Yes, they have one. Apparently, these numbers indicate the launch codes for a first-strike nuclear attack. No, not really. It's just which filling line the packet was filled on. Yeah, that's all. Nothing too exciting. The hole in the cap of a ballpoint pen Most people assume that the tiny hole on the tip of a pen cap is there to even out the pressure so that the pen doesn't leak. Good guess! But the real reason is much more serious. If a person accidentally swallows the cap and chokes on it, their airway won't be completely obstructed. There will still be a small opening for air to get through. Have you noticed a lot of things where people are sticking the wrong things in their mouths? Just saying, only put food in there. Pen caps are not dessert. Little bumps on the F and J on your keyboard. This is done for those experienced typists that can do their work without even looking at the keyboard. The F and J are the so-called home keys where your index fingers rest, and the bumps are there to help find this position. Indentations on the bottle of wine and champagne bottles Lots of people think that this is done so it's easier for the wine steward to grip the bottle when pouring drinks. Well, they might help out in this case. That's not why they exist. It's because the bottom and sides of a bottle are weaker and can crack when the bottle is being corked. The indentation in the bottom serves to compensate for the pressure that accumulates during the process. And that's exactly why champagne bottle indentations are much deeper, since they have more pressure due to the carbonation. Tiny holes in airplane windows have you ever noticed the tiny hole in an airplane window and wondered why it was there? Actually, these holes have two purposes. First, they help balance out the air pressure. When a plane ascends, the pressure inside and outside the cabin differs dramatically. Thanks to these little holes, the outer windows don't have to bear all the pressure. Secondly, without these holes, the window would completely fog up and block your view. Well, that's actually kind of cool, isn't it? Have a good look at the front of your sweatshirt. Okay, let's ignore the pizza stains for now. Ever notice that V-shape right at the bottom of the collar? That small V-patch isn't just a decoration, it serves more than one purpose. 
Made from a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs, these inserts allowed the wearer to put on the sweater without losing any shape over time. As the sweatshirt would be pulled down over the head, the V insert would stretch and flex to allow a lot of wiggle room. The other benefit the V pattern gives is to absorb all that sweat. The chest is a major area of perspiring. Just look at soaked shirts after doing something physical. Although the V insert can only take so much. That extra pocket on the right side of a suit jacket is called the ticket pocket. They used to store coins for people on horseback to pay toll booths without opening their jackets. When train travel became more popular, they were perfect for tickets and passes. As for the left chest pocket, it's used to store handkerchiefs, keeping them away from the other cluttered and dirty pockets. Metallic zippers have a hidden lock built in. Next time you've put on a pair of pants, shorts, or skirt, never leave the zipper handle in an upward position. Push the little zipper tab downwards, and it'll automatically lock. To mute your annoying beeping microwave, look closely at the front panel for a sound button. It may have been there all along, just begging to be pressed. If there's no button, try pressing and holding 1, 0, stop, or cancel. Will either result in turning off the beeping sounds or activating a lock feature. Of course, if your microwave doesn't have any mute function at all, you'll just have to keep running to stop the timer late at night. Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety function, and it's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Although non-toxic, denatonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery, and bitter substance to prevent kiddos from swallowing them. This chemical compound is one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. There's not much privacy while using a public toilet, especially when the door doesn't reach the floor at all. But these gaps are there for emergency access, in case the person inside needs immediate help. The gap also works for ventilation, thank goodness, and to stop people from lingering around the toilet too long. Toothpicks have a built-in holder to prevent you from just leaving them on the table. Just break off the top, it's that simple. Place that on your table and your toothpick between the notches. Pointy end up, of course. Now it won't touch the table and get all dirty. You can do the same with disposable chopsticks. Break off the top piece before you pull them apart. Those tiny dimples on golf balls actually give a greater lift to the ball and reduce air resistance, meaning the ball can go further with them. These dimples come in spherical and hexagonal shapes, with each slightest change affecting the ball's performance. So choose them carefully. Plastic wrap boxes have hidden little holders that stop the roll from jumping out of the box. There are little cardboard tabs on the sides that lock into the tube inside while making it easy to glide the film out. Just push them in and never be frustrated again. Gosh, I wish that would work with other stuff. The seven spikes on top of the Statue of Liberty's crown don't represent the seven seas and the seven continents at all. They're representing the sun's rays, giving a halo to show that she is divine. In the United States, 12 different Federal Reserve banks print all the money. So if you want to know where your money comes from, just look for these small codes. A1 – Boston B2 – New York C3 – Philadelphia D4 – Cleveland E5 – Richmond F6 – Atlanta G7 – Chicago H8 – St. Louis I9 – Minneapolis J10 – Kansas City K11 – Big D – Little A – Double L A S. It's a song. L12 – San Francisco Never call it Frisco. Meanwhile, the bristles on the side of every escalator are in place to encourage people to stay away from the edge, meaning they're less likely to face a mishap with a trapped bag or shoelace. Did you hear about the octopus caught on the escalator? It was a stretch. Old-fashioned pincushions that are large tomato with a strawberry attached are more than a place for your needles. The strawberry contains an emery board. When you stick your pins and needles into the strawberry, the emery board keeps them rust-free and sharpens them as well. Some people still forget to engage the hose from their car after filling up with gas. Luckily, a lot of gas companies realize this, so if you happen to drive off with a hose still attached to your car, there's a magnetic connector that disengages when pulled. Those different colored bread tags use a color-coded system to show the day that they were baked. They are usually blue tags for Mondays, green tags for Tuesdays, red tags Thursdays, white tags Fridays, and yellow tags for Saturdays. On the back of most beauty products, you'll find a small symbol on the back that indicates how long it'll stay good for. For example, 2M means two months after opening. 
Some jackets have those extra flaps with a button on the shoulder, and they actually have a use. These are perfectly designed for holding your purse, backpack, or bag in place and secure. Pom-poms on the top of beanies were never just a fashion statement. They were for protection, placed on top of the headwear to protect sailors from accidentally hitting their heads while moving around on a ship. Pom-poms touch the roof, so don't go any higher. They don't appear on every type of measuring tape, but diamonds or black circles are there to help contractors measure the proper placement of studs in a wall. Those little holes on your baseball cap aren't some fashion trends that stuck around for years and have never been changed. These holes are actually called eyelets, and they're to keep your head well ventilated, not for appearance. If you have YKK printed on your zipper, they're not some secret code to be cracked. Those three letters appear on so many zippers globally because they're the symbol of the world's most universal zipper manufacturer, the YKK Group. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. If you don't feel like peeling an orange, cut it on top and bottom, make a slit on a side, and just pull it open. Toothpicks sometimes have several grooves, and the section with grooves is a makeshift holder. It's easy to break the toothpick into two parts. A smaller one with a groove can be used to avoid contact with the table. You can also make a makeshift stand for disposable sushi sticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. Break that lump off, and when you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point on the ointment tab easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones. They're called ticket pockets, and gentlemen wearing such jackets can quickly pull the tickets before getting on a train. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Hey, you can also slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer. All the bottles used to be of the same green color once, but it turns out brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. A dollar has its secrets too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. 12 different Federal Reserve banks print all the money, so if you want to know where your money comes from, just look for these small codes. A1, Boston. B2, New York. C3, Philadelphia. D4, Cleveland. E5, Richmond. F6, Atlanta. G7, Chicago. H8, St. Louis. I9, Minneapolis. J10, Kansas City. K11, Dallas. 1112, San Francisco. Rough edges on the dimes aren't just about design. The weight of coins, made of precious metal, was used to show the coin's actual value. People would shave off the edges, spending the shaving coins with the same value, and melt the edges to make new coins. To avoid it, the minter added that pattern so people could tell if a coin was cut. Small dimples on the bottom of some cups keep them in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let the excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. To enjoy fresh and soft peanut butter, store it upside down. This way, the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly in the jar. Bath foam has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles keep the water hot so that you can enjoy your bath a bit longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat rather fast, no matter how much foam you make. A doorknob made of brass, bronze, and some copper alloys has an anti-germ effect because of its metal properties. A small V-patch right at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less, and it's easy to control. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage too. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package, so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. 
All the disposable cups look the same. The secret here is the special shape that lets you enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider for the nose to fit in while you're drinking, and the bottom is always narrower so anyone can hold it, even if the hand is small. Also, the width difference allows the cups to stack. You can use a mason jar directly onto the blender with a screw on top and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. The only rule is to not put your device on max. There is no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. Two zips for one section can be an excellent pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. If something got stuck in your teeth, it could be hard to have perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. With increased tension, you'll get rid of that basil between your teeth in no time. A tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock is there to drain water to help avoid corrosion. Plus, it's the most convenient place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close easier. A tiny plastic disc under a bottle lid is what makes soda sparkling. While the lid keeps the liquid inside, this plastic disc holds the gases inside. Without it, it would just be sweet water. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue one gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics, for example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. So as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. Food items like chips come with about 43% nitrogen inside their package. It might seem like they sell you half a bag of air, but it's exactly the opposite. Oxygen, the gas we breathe, would react with the chips inside the bag and make them go rancid quickly. It's called oxidizing for a reason. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is an inert gas that helps keep the foodstuffs fresh and also protects them from breaking during transportation. A bag of chips that has this gas cushion lets you enjoy your crunchies without them turning to potato crumbs. Donuts have holes in them so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy while the outside was crisp. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard so that the rats would nibble on blank paper, rather than taking a bite out of your important work. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube, and the hole, which when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed, so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. If you ever had problems with popping chocolates from the box, look at those little holes around them. They're there to help you. If you push a hole right next to the candy, it'll jump out easily. When you take a sip from a coffee cup with a lid, it decreases air pressure inside the cup, so air tries to get in. The tiny hole on the lid allows air to enter that way, so liquid can smoothly pour out the main hole. More on beverage lids. The small button on them let restaurant workers, and customers too, understand what's in a cup. Near each button, there's a name. Just look at which one is pushed down. 
The numbers on the fruit stickers tell you how exactly they were grown. If there are four digits and the first is four or three, the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first is nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five digits and the first is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. When you're on your way back to the car after bagging up everything you bought, use loops on a shopping cart to hang the bags. Now softer items like bread, eggs, fruit and veggies won't get squashed by the heavier goods. If you don't have anyone to hold the other end of your tape measure when you try to measure something, tap a nail on it. Now, simply hook your tape on it using the tiny hole all tape measures have. The square-shaped spoon that goes with a McFlurry helps to mix the ice cream toppings through the dessert. The spoon hooks directly to a machine and spins around. Padlocks that are used outside quickly get out of order because of rain. See this little hole in the bottom? It's made for pouring engine oil inside. Do this and the key will again turn in the lock without any difficulty. You keep banging the bottom of a glass ketchup jar, but nothing's coming out. Here's a little tip. Turn your ketchup bottle at an angle and tap on the middle of the neck. In many fast food restaurants, customers fill tiny folded paper cups to get a portion of ketchup or mustard. Here's the news. The cups are supposed to unfold and turn into small paper platters to hold a great deal more sauce. That little hole on the handle of a pot or a frying pan isn't just for hanging them on the wall. During cooking, put the end of your utensil in the hole, and it'll be propped over the pot to save your kitchen from extra mess. The blue or any other dark color bristles on your toothbrush are meant to remind you when it's time to get a new one. If you see that bristles have become pale, change the toothbrush or its head. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster as it gives an escape for the air, helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Spoiled milk emits gases, like most foods when they go off. A classic plastic milk jug has a concave shape on one side. So when the gases expand inside the jug, it expands too, and the concave shape curves out. Also, if you want to save some milk for later and freeze it, the jug will expand when the milk gets solid as well, occupying more space in a jug. Over 40 billion Oreos are made every single year. It's the world's most popular manufactured cookie. The geometric design stamped into these cookies has the Nabisco logo, the symbol of European quality, surrounding the word Oreo. William Turnier created the chocolate cookie design we see today back in 1952. Headphone jacks might become a thing of the past because of wireless technology, but if you've seen one, you might have noticed the rings at the base of the plug. One ring means single sound playback. Two rings represent stereo sound in the left and right ear, while three rings means you've got stereo and a microphone built in. Now, the iconic orange, red, purple, yellow, and lime green rings of Fruit Loops hide a deep secret within. They don't represent different fruit flavors. All those rings are the same fruit flavors blended together. The colors are just for show. Mm. The E in Dell's logo is at an angle because the founder, Michael Dell, wanted his technology to turn the world on its ear. A compass uses magnets to point to the magnetic North Pole, but it's not really north at all. The North Pole of a compass magnet points toward the north because the north and south attract. Earth's south magnetic pole is near the geographic north, while the North Pole is near Earth's geographic south. Confusing, isn't it? Those little red spots you sometimes see after you crack an egg are nothing to be worried about. Tiny blood spots can be caused by a small rupture in the blood vessel of the hen as it was laying the egg. 
Eggs with these blood spots are safe to eat, but that spot can be removed if you want. It won't affect the taste of the egg. That's comforting. Ketchup is a word taken from many cultures, like Chinese, Malay, and Indonesian. It originally meant a pickled fish sauce. Catsup is also an acceptable spelling used. However, ketchup is the most popular way it's spelled these days. Airbnb's logo isn't a bent paperclip, as it may seem to be. Bella, as it's called, for belonging, means more than that. There's a person's head, the location symbol, and a heart for love. All joined together, they make Airbnb's iconic A and symbol of togetherness. E120, or natural red 4 food coloring, aka carmi, is made from tiny beetles. It's been used to color anything from cakes to candy to even drinks. But shine on candy also comes from bugs. This time, it's the Indian female lac bug. The beetle leaves behind a substance that is scraped from the trees to be formed into dry shellac that gives that glossy look. The Mozilla Firefox logo isn't a fox at all surrounding the planet. It's a red panda instead. The name Firefox is the English translation of its Chinese name. Those maintenance covers in the street are round for safety reasons. In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, manholes – that's what they were called back then – were square-shaped slabs of stone. Unfortunately, these were prone to accidents. If they weren't placed properly, a square cover could slip through the square hole diagonally. Ow! Placing a round cover eliminated this problem. A circle cover won't slip inside because there are no angles. A tomato isn't technically a vegetable, but a fruit. Banana trees aren't related to palm trees or trees at all. They're herbs. Banana is considered an herb because it never builds a woody trunk the way a tree does. Instead, it forms a succulent stalk, like lemongrass or its cousin, ginger. You can call them berries as well. The Golden Gate Bridge color wasn't meant to be the orangey-red that it is today. The bridge's original color was suggested to be many other colors, such as black with yellow stripes or even candy cane to make it visible for passing ships and aircraft, especially in the frequent San Francisco fog. But when the steel arrived, covered in an orange primer to protect it from rust, the architect preferred the international orange color, and it stuck. Those legs on the back of keyboards aren't an ergonomic design to help your wrists sit better. Using the legs out for too long can tire and hurt your wrists, plus slowing your typing down. The hinge legs are just there to help you see the letters and numbers better if you don't know how to touch type. The color of a chili pepper reveals nothing about its taste or heat. The smaller a chili is, the hotter it'll usually be. The heat doesn't come from the seeds, as believed, but the white membranes that hold them. Hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the Triangle Chocolate Treat. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Torone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, even though you might have thought that the hole in the barrel of a ballpoint pen had no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. Next time you're on a flight, look above each window you'll notice some little triangles sitting there. They're there to show the flight crew the best spots to view the plane's flaps through the window. If you're worried about a little air sickness ruining your flight, try to choose a seat that's located between these triangles. Sitting between the wings puts you in the direct center of the plane and offers the smoothest possible ride. Now, sitting at a long traffic light usually makes me hungry, bored, and a little curious. Have you ever thought about those black dots and that black line all along the edges of your windshield? 
It looks cool enough, but come on, it's got to have a hidden use, right? Hmm. Well, the black line is called a frit, and it's there to help your windshield from popping out of the car. Pretty important, I'd say. Microwavable instant rice loves to fall over in the microwave, if you're me, that is. And like me, you've probably struggled with keeping the package upright. As it turns out, the flaps that fold out from the bottom create a nice sturdy base. Push them out and give it a try. Hey, why didn't I learn this in school? Has that half-finished 2-liter bottle of soda left over from pizza night gone flat? Rather than pouring it down the drain, add it to your compost heap. The sugar feeds good microorganisms and increases the acidity of the pile, helping organic material break down faster. Any pair of scissors will go blunt sooner or later, but don't let that stop you. There's a product in your kitchen that can help bring them back to life fast. Mm. Aluminum foil isn't just for leftover lasagna. Fold a sheet of it into quarters and start cutting. Cutting through the foil will sharpen those scissors right up, but not if they're too blunt. Rescue them while there's still time. Those little escalator brushes aren't there to clean your shoes, even though they can do a rather good job. These bristles are actually a serious safety feature. Without them, clothes, shoelaces, and bags can get caught in them when they're too close to the sides. The little brushes are also there to tickle you, to remind you to look down and take care. Hey, I always thought it was a bug rubbing up against me. Half belts. Seriously, what's up with those things? Well, some military jackets used to double as blankets, and the half belt helped keep the extra material from getting in the soldier's way. Nowadays, they're mostly used as a fashion accessory. Accidentally stapling the wrong pages together is like the worst thing ever. Well, there are worse things, but it's certainly annoying. Especially if the staple takes out a huge piece of your document with it when you try to pry it off. There's actually a simple way to make sure that the stapler pins are less tight and easier to pull out. Take a close look at that metal plate at the front of your stapler, known as the anvil. Turn the stapler upside down and adjust the settings. You're basically changing the stapler setting to temporary. No more tears, no more tears. Mention my name and you'll get a good seat. Toilet seat covers have been used wrong for way too long. I see you ripping off that flap that looks like a tongue. No, you're doing it all wrong. Instead of tearing it off, let the flap sit in the bowl after you put it down the cover. When you flush, the suction will pull on the flap and take it away. Aren't you glad you know that now? That dark square or rectangle at the end of your toothpaste tube? What does that mean? Is it color-coded to show what ingredients are in there? Or does it show whether the toothpaste is synthetic or natural? Well, sorry, but the truth isn't that exciting. The markings are there for the assembly machines. They help the machines know where to cut and fold each tube. We've all driven home from the supermarket, taken a right turn a little too hard, and crashed! Sounds like the groceries volcano just erupted in the trunk. Look closely in the trunk. You might see some little hooks in there. You can hang your bags on them. Ooh. Yeah, some cars have them behind the front seats instead. You can use them to hang clothes or even your takeout bag. You may have noticed that members of the flight crew like to touch the overhead compartments while they're walking down the aisle. They don't have a weird desire to touch everything. There are actually handles along the edges to give them a better grip while walking. Go ahead and use them the next time you feel like a mid-air stroll. It's definitely better than grabbing onto everyone's headrests. Don't you hate that? A shiny brass doorknob adds just the right amount of fancy to your front door. But that's not all it does. Brass, like anything with copper alloy in it, has antimicrobial properties that many harmful germs and bacteria just can't stand. In high traffic areas, these brass knobs and handles are the perfect way to get rid of those nasty germs without having to use harsh chemicals all the time. The only downside is that brass is a lot more expensive than other metals. That might be why it's hardly used for this anymore. Does your toothbrush have a pattern of blue bristles weaved in with the white ones? It makes the toothbrush look a lot more stylish. But it's not just about looking good. Those bristles actually have a practical purpose. The blue dye is designed to wear off, around the same time as when you should replace your toothbrush. 
you should be switching out your toothbrush every 3-4 to four months anyway. But those blue bristles are there to give you a gentle nudge, just in case you forget. Now, you walk over them every day and never think about it twice. But is there a reason maintenance hole covers are always round? In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, these covers used to be square-shaped slabs of stone. But all those edges and gaps led to plenty of stubbed toes and accidents for unsuspecting Romans. A round cover eliminated the problem. Plus, it meant you could only open it with a specialized tool. Probably a good idea.